Hey, what is going on, guys? It's your brother L. L excels. Excels at the game. Excels my name. First off, I want to say thank you to everyone who's been subscribing, bro. You guys have been my motivations. Honestly, guys, I remember the day when I just wanted to start YouTube and I wanted to give back. And I was thinking, like, damn, you know, I wish I would have started things earlier. And I want to give this message to you guys because it's important that you start planning your life ahead ahead of time for everyone else, guys. Because what tends to happen to the younger generation, the younger crowd, right? We're most of the time they're programmed to, hey, you gotta go to school. This is what you gotta do to be successful. And guys, most people fall into that race, that 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 crabs in a bucket, right? Where people tell you what to do, and you're not really told on to think for yourself to make the best options, guys. And it, it's sad. And this video, I wanna explain what I wish I would've done when I was earlier, to, you know, to just enjoy life, to be more successful, guys. A lot of distractions, a lot of things are going on in your young life, I get that. But it's, guys, this video is gonna help out a lot of you younger guys. And you know, maybe you guys are in your 30s right now, it doesn't matter what age, it's never too late to start. I don't want you guys to start when you have no energy anymore, when, when, when you know, you have a lot of debt, whether it's the school bills, whether it's a car loan, house loan, whatever, real estate, doesn't matter. I want you guys to just go out and start experiencing life. And uh, man, isn't that just a beautiful view right there? This sunset kind of just faded in the clouds, but guys, yeah. Make sure you like to scrap. Yeah, Um, the first thing I want to tell you guys to do is travel. And I know I'm saying this right now because, you know, traveling, but you know, this is something I wish I would have done when I was earlier, bro, because we're missing out on a lot of opportunities. We're usually, like for a man, we're, we're held in the confines of where we grew up. Maybe some of you guys go to college. Maybe some of you guys have work that makes you travel. I suggest you do. I suggest you leave your hometown as soon as possible, guys, because the thing is, when you're stuck in like the, 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 per the place you grew up, whether it's in the country, a city, it doesn't matter. That's your, like your ideology of how life is gonna work, like how you need to fall in the footsteps of how other people are living. And no, bro, the thing is, when you travel, you're gonna meet a lot of people. Uh, you're gonna meet, you know, some bad people. I got, like, so be cautious of that. And you're gonna meet some good people too. So when you meet these people, bro, you're gonna learn like, oh, okay, this is how people think in, um, in the islands. And then you're gonna think like, okay, this is how people think in the country, or this is how people think in Europe or the States or Canada, Mexico, it doesn't matter. You're gonna see how people, their mindsets and what that did for me bro is i learned how to be more social i learned you know since i'm in another area I, i'm forced to talk to other people i'm forced to see what these people do you know how they live their life the struggles they go through uh guys you know i'm here in, in jamaica right now so i'm talking to a lot of the, the natives here great people uh they're good vibes very friendly people too and uh you know they're telling me like i've talked to some of the uh, the people that live here and they're telling me how you know some of them had hardships growing up and some of them you know you know want to do better but you know they have obstacles in their way and it's just like motivating to me bro it's just motivating to see like you know what like these people are still out here hustling they, they don't have no excuses bro they're still hustling doing what they got to do whether it's a job they love or a job they hate they know they got to do they got to improve they got to they gotta level up. Whether they don't care the, the cards are dealt, they just know, yo, I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm not here complaining. It's a motorcycle, guys. So the thing is, most people are, are complacent. Most people think they have a, a hard life. And yes, I understand you may not have the easiest life. Yes, you may start with not the best cards. But the thing is, guys, you learn that other people have it more difficult than you. And you, and you should be grateful for what you have, right? And that, being here, it makes me grateful for what I have back at home. I am gonna miss Jamaica, I'm not gonna lie, it's a great place to be. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, I need you guys to travel. I want you guys to see the world. You're gonna be more social. You know, you're gonna see how people think. You're gonna meet like, how, how the ladies, how to interact with the ladies, how to interact with gentlemen over here. Wherever you go, it doesn't matter. That's something I wish I would've done, bro. Just travel, bro, just travel. And the thing is, bro, if you have the ability to travel even by yourself, do it. Because the thing is, if you wait on people to travel with you guys, damn, it must be someone's birthday party or something. Someone's clubbing down there. <laughs> I don't mean to get distracted. I don't mean to digress. But guys, yes, you know, just travel by yourself. Even if it's by yourself, do it, bro. Because 
I, what I learned in life is a lot, not a lot of people are gonna wanna do things with you. As you start leveling up, as you wanna see the world and live for yourself, and you know, you wanna see people do better too, not a lot of people have that mindset like you. And the thing is, it's sad, but like I said in the early in the, earlier in the video, it's crabs in a bucket, man. That's why you can't wait on people, you know. If, if, hey, maybe you can meet your, your girlfriend out in another country. Who knows, bro? Life works crazy like that. We all have our own lives. We all have our own journeys. But it's important that you guys travel. The next thing, guys, is don't be afraid of any rejections, guys. That's easier said than done, right? And the thing is, you know, when you travel, you learn to, you know, you gotta speak to people whether they like you or don't like you, but it is what it is. You gotta learn how to navigate through the where you're at. And what I learned, guys, is, you know, when you're a younger man, you, you do care about how other people are living their lives. And you care about how other people perceive you. But as you get older, you just don't care, bro. And I wish I had that strength when I was younger. You know, when I was in like my late teenage years, my early 20s, that I just didn't care about rejection. I wish I put myself out there more. Yeah, I am a social person. I, I've always have been. But there was a time in my life, bro, where I was scared to talk to people. I was scared what they would might think of me, uh, how I thought of things, what I would say, how it might make someone feel. And the thing is, guys, don't be scared of any rejections. Don't be afraid to speak up, bro. Because, guys, if you don't speak up about what you want, or if you don't speak up and try to speak, talk to a girl that you see, or talk to someone that you see at a, at a anywhere, and you're trying to make a business opportunity or whatever, guys, you will never get the answer. You won't know what someone's thinking unless you go up and speak to them and you know introduce yourself. And us men, we gotta do better on that, guys. You know, I know the red pill is saying that you gotta be more attractive, and I know I've said that in other videos too, where women will come to you, and that's true. But guys, we're men. You know. We, we take the, we grab the bull by the horns. We go after what we want, bro. That's, that's what we were built to do. We, we're, cha we're, we're dream, we, we, we chase our dreams, bro. We go after what we want. You can't wait for life to come to you. That's what I've really learned, guys. Don't wait for life to come to you no more. You have to go to it. So if you see something that you want, bro, you're a man, you go after what you want. That's when your testosterone and your confidence should kick in. Like, yo, this is me. Like, this is what I am. This is what I'm bringing. It is what it is. You can like, you can hate it, or you can love it. Either way, you're going to love who you are. It is what it is, guys. Yeah, guys, so don't be afraid of rejection. Don't be afraid to introduce yourself. Don't be afraid to just put yourself out there, man. It's, yeah, I know it's easier said than done. Even when you're in college, even when you're in high school, you don't feel like speaking up. But, guys, people like someone who's different, okay? Because that's the thing what makes someone unique. You know how back when you're in high school and everyone's doing the same things everyone likes the same things guys it's just like so it's like boring you know like everyone's why would you want to be like everyone else right so like I, nowadays i appreciate people who differentiate themselves like when it comes to women i like a girl who does things differently you know guys i remember i was talking to one girl and she's just telling me like she likes taking pictures of uh like nature and stuff like that and like like she she was just showing me and telling me like what she takes pictures of and i think that's cool you know that's what her niche is that's what she likes i think that separates herself from everyone else because most girls what are they doing right most of them are clubbing bar going to bars uh just i don't know man just yeah but yeah guys and the other thing i want to talk about guys this is very crucial what i'm about to say you need to realize this kind of ties in with what I first said, but you need to realize that guys, life isn't coming to you. Okay, once you realize that when you want to do something, when you want to be something, you have to take the action. You have to be that best version of yourself. That's where your confidence comes from, bro. When you realize like you're tired of how your life is going, so you got to make a change. You got to go after what you want. guys. Before I started YouTube, I remember I was just sitting in my old office job at this old place I used to work at. And I was just like, damn, everyone is kind of has like the same layer of attitude, personality. Is this, this is what they do every single day. They go to work and they, uh, it's the same pattern. And I, I don't want to live my life like that. Personally, me, some of you guys are comfortable with that. I'm not judging you, but guys, I realized what I wanted to do. I realized I wanted to help people. 
me sitting at behind my desk, um, just doing what I do. I'm not gonna get too much into my job. Maybe I'll make a, a later video about that. But guys, the thing is, I just didn't want to do that for me. And I don't want you guys to feel like, since you're in a situation right now, maybe you work at McDonald's, maybe you work at a, you're a lawyer, or maybe you're a student somewhere, who knows, doctor, who knows, right? Maybe you're a warehouse, it doesn't matter. And that's not what you want to do anymore. That's not how you want to see your life. If you want to be a restaurant owner, if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to be a real estate, whatever, investor, agent, whatever, you got to take that initiative in yourself, bro. You can't wait for people to hand you a job opportunity. You know, there was a while in my life where I thought that if I did everything that they told me to do, which is go to school, get my that job that they tell me to get, and you know, life gets better. I get to do what I want to do eventually. And it's going to take 20 to 30 years before I actually get to do what I want to do. I'm like, yo, I'm not waiting that long. I'm going to start doing what I want to do now. I'm going to be who I want to be. And I need you guys to realize that you can do that too. Okay. You know, being out here on this vacation, it, it just taught me like, you just got to go for what you want to do. Like, even like when it comes to clubbing, partying, if that's what you don't like, I, I'm noticing a lot of people don't like to do that no more. You know, it's all the same things. Like, you see the same people, see the same type of girl, you know, a Tupac said it best, right? Every other city I go, I see the same, mm, if you know that lyric, put that in the comments, but every other city I go, bro, like I see the same kind of people like in these bars and the clubs. And uh, it kind of gets repetitive. And it's just like, you know what? I'm learning that like, you know, this is something that I just don't like pretty much doing as much as I used to back when I was younger. Guys, what I like doing is I just like doing stuff in nature. I like going out in the jungles, forests, the countryside. I like, that's me. That's why I personally like, maybe you guys are more city like, hey, more power to you, but you just can't wait to go after what you want, bro. Okay, you're a man, you, you take the initiative. Every step begins with the man, bro, with you. You have to excel, you, and I'm not, guys, I'm not saying for you to just quit your jobs and just do what you wanna do, no. You have to have a plan. And with that plan, you take actions. Yes, you have to keep working. Yes, you gotta hustle. And yes, there's gonna be times you're still gonna struggle, but you just gotta go after it for what you want, bro. Don't be afraid to grab the bull by the horns, man. It's a beautiful sunset. Man, Jamaica's beautiful. You're really gonna miss it a lot. Uh, I'll leave pretty soon. Man, I'm about to go grab some food, man. But you guys, I'm a motivation. I want you guys to just, you know, feel what I'm feeling right now. This is great. You know, God has blessed me with this, man. I just, I'm so grateful, man. I just want you guys to just be out here, just be happy, do what you want to do. You know, we all deserve a vacation here and there. We, as men, I understand we put in a lot of work. You know, we struggle a lot. But there's times where you just got to treat yourself, bro. There's nothing wrong with treating yourself. I'm not saying don't do it this every day, but when you've been hustling, bro, and you, when you know it's your turn, bro, go all out, man. Enjoy your time. Keep hustling, keep working, so you can just be the best version of yourselves. And just live that life you want to live. Whatever lifestyle that may be, I want you to see you guys just live the life that you want. I appreciate y'all, boys. Make sure you guys continue to excel. Guys, I wish I did this when I was younger. So if you're a younger person watching this, Please, please, please listen to this, man. Actually, listen to this. Key into what I'm saying. Ask other people who've traveled. They'll tell you too. Yo, just travel. See the world a little bit. It's beautiful. Don't feel like you're confined to living at home because it doesn't have to be like that, bro. Just It takes a single step to just do what you want to do. I appreciate y'all, boys, and I'm out of here.